So let's see what happens when I cross the bridge and enter Cypress space. Forever. What? A little guilt creeps in and that's that? You give up? Stop. Gonna just roll just over instead of stop. fighting for what's yours? Decommiss yourself because you're too fucking scared to say goodbye? You're loyal, grant you that. But damn it, are you dense? Haven't changed a bit since we met. I'm so damn tired, Johnny. I just want to start anew. Even if I don't know what that means. It better be good for you, too. V, I'm just... I'm just scared for you. All righty, what's going on, everybody? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy Deacon, and welcome back to Let's Play Cyberpunk 2077. And here we are. I am here to show you the ending where V enters cyberspace, and as a result, Johnny Silverhand takes V's physical body vessel. Now, before we commence this episode, do not forget to hold smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, share this with your boys, recommend my channel to everybody that you know, follow me on Instagram, smash that bell notification button, and of course, as always, please enjoy! Fuck. Don't think I'll ever get used to this. Shit, got a pack too. And I gotta stop talking to you, V. We lost everything. Hmm. Not much, but I'm all right with that. Got a bit of time. Think I'll manage to swing by and visit you. Gonna need a ride. Steve. Gotta talk to Steve. Hey, guy. What's up, Chum? 
because I got that new album from Curse These Metal Hands. First four tracks? Preen genius. Need wheels and a good driver for the day. Got the shivers first time I, I played it. Care of. No problem. I'll take you. My mom wakes out when I don't tell her I'm leaving. But it's not like she can hear me when I try to warn her. You ready? Hey, so when I play a lot, my fingers hurt. What do I do to stop them? You don't. Metal strings cut into your fingertips, make them sore. Just how it is. Oh, don't worry. Play long enough and you'll get calluses. Start hitting What do you them. think you're doing, you little shit? Going out. Where? Uh, just out for a sec. Be back soon. Back inside, now! I'm not about to let you go out, do who knows what, you hear? For fuck's sake, you swipe my keys again? Inside. Now, you shit. Leave him alone and watch that tone. Get the fuck out of my face. Think I'm scared? You're another bum like the rest of us. Wanna try me? Go ahead. I don't have time for this shit. <sighs> Who the hell's that? Who the fuck knows? Tramp, all of oh, man. Me. He was shaking like you were gonna wipe him. Sorry about that. <laughs> you kidding? I, I wish something bad had happened to him. Hop in. I wish I could drop him myself. I want to be strong like you. You will be down the line. Though, sure hope you'll see he's not worth any skin off your knuckles. How come? Because you'll realize how weak he is. And it'll hurt. Where to? Time machine. Nice! Saw Carrie Uridine there once. You a fan? Of the legend? Of course I am! Why? Aren't you? Carrie's alright. Heard something on the radio about Carrie using Silverhand's death, writing that to fame. Can't do much about media vultures. Got shit for brains, especially the ones who cover music. Carrie's a damn good musician. That's all that counts. The real deal always has been in every way. God, makes it sound like you know him. Cause I do. I'm gonna be a musician someday too. Don't forget, it's not the easiest gig. Yeah, yeah, I know. Gotta work hard, practice. To start, sure, but it only gets harder after that. The critics, the haters, non-stop pressure, bad shit, crazy lifestyle. It can chew you up. Gotta start scribing songs then. You'll get good with practice, like anything else worth doing. The sooner you start, the better. Got a few tunes in my head already. Preen. Lyrics don't come easy, though. I come up with anything. Seems like it's already been done, or it just sounds stupid. Kinda don't really know what to write about. Be honest. Only ever write the truth. Especially when it comes to your feelings. I don't get how I can lie about my feelings. Don't write love songs if you're not head over heels. Don't write sad sex shit just because you think there's beauty in sadness. Uh, okay. When something really hits you in the gut, that's when you sit down and write. Truth's elusive. Sometimes music's the only way to grasp it. We have arrived. Cream, hang here a minute. Nah, I'm coming in. 
flip through the new releases. What can I do for you? Looking for a six string. Electric. Fifth your eyes. Something solid and true. What? And they're not? No offense, but I'm looking for a real instrument and willing to pay real money. Ah, should have said so. Come on, let's go out back. How's this? I'm coming too. Whoa! To the Fucking right awesome. and left, the latest chromatics and Hendersons. Vintage axes in the back. Of course, strum away. Best day ever. I'ma let you two play around in here alone. Else those savages out front will clean out half the store. Anyone play Silverhand like that? You know, I read he never took any lessons. Chum was totally self-taught, made up his own style. How do you do that? I mean, sound just like him. Good ear, kid. No one can imitate Silverhand's style. But you did. I just heard you. Obviously, got a bit of him in me, or a lot. Maybe I am Johnny. But how? Johnny'd be like 80 million years old, and you're like way too young. You know, this is just a body, how the dice landed for me. Ultimately, I am who I am. <laughs> yeah, right. Chum, you're a bigger psycho fan than I am. Still haven't explained how you do it. Don't worry about that. Just come up with your own style, and all you need for that is practice. And talent. Talent you got. Really? You think so? I just don't say things I don't think are true. Not anymore. Best day ever. Fuck! My hands are shaking. Rockers are rebels. They always speak their minds. Tried once with my dad, you know. Didn't go so well. In time, you'll learn who you really are. What you really want from the world. I don't understand. Want to be a real rebel? Gotta be yourself first. Be authentic. Rebels are made, not born. Made from the punches life throws at them. The punches they take. You know, you're weird. But I like you anyway. Let's pay. Delta out of here. I'll take it. Um, excellent choice. Glad to see she'll be in, uh, in good hands. Help you with anything else? No thanks. Here you go. See ya. Let's Delta. Still got some biz to take care of. All right.
Let's roll. Sure thing. Where to? The cemetery. You got it. That was Perilous Future for you this fine afternoon. And speaking of Perilous Times, it's just in. My dad says there's gonna be another Cold War. Liable to jump at each other's throats any day now. Think it's true? Think there'll be another war? Asking the wrong guy. Got no interest in the topic. Couldn't care less, to be honest. Know why? Why? Because I realized I don't have to. Got a friend who lives around here. Where? Can't see it from here. Just saying. He a good friend of yours? Invited me over to his house once. His mom made lunch. Then we went and hung out on the bridge. I like driving through here. It's nice. You know what, you're right. It is nice out here. Never been out this way? No, I have. Just never noticed. Never had time to just sit down and watch. City slipped through my fingers. Just sped right by. Passed underfoot, overhead, and I can't even say when it happened. Gonna write a song about it? Maybe. Just a keepsake. Oh. Uh, belong to someone important? Yeah. Someone really important. What are you gonna do with it? Put it back where it belongs. Can I come with? No, wait here, okay? Won't be long. Okay. Obsessing over what happened. Couldn't forget you anyway. I'm wearing your goddamn face. Thanks for. Huh. Well, for everything. I'm wiser now. And I don't plan to waste it. So this is goodbye. God, Pan Am's angry. Where to now? Hmm, I got a bus to catch. The person you just, uh, visited, he died a while ago? Not that long ago. You miss him? A little, yeah. When my grandpa died, I missed him a lot. But now I only miss him sometimes. Mm. Very 
Farewell, son. Guitar! No, I didn't. Haven't forgotten a thing. Never will. Just so you know, ladies and gentlemen, this is not the ending that I personally chose, Ugh. just so you know. on sheer will. You know what you are, Johnny? A parasite. A fucking tapeworm. You hear me? Enjoy the little time you have left. V. Hey. Christ, that run we did. My heart's still pounding. A pack of nomads versus Arasaka. Oh, oh, oh. I mean... The odds were totally stacked against us. I didn't know if we'd get out alive. But hey, we made it. And you know why? Because you were the one leading the charge, V. The 
craziest, baddest merc from Pacifica to the Apple agents. I don't know what you're up to right now, what your plans are. But just remember, we'd walk through hell and back with you, brother, anytime. Until next time, eh? Take care. Got your message. Johnny, look, I've been around long enough to know that anything is possible in your fucked up world. But I never imagined this, even from you. You must have made a pretty big impression on V for getting him on board with this, so hats off. I'm just wondering how you feel about that, Johnny. Having another person give their life for you. Especially when you're probably just back to all-nighters and cheap tequila, laughing at how stupid he was. Or has your conscience finally learned its lesson? That is, if you've even got one. Good luck out there, Johnny. And don't ever come back to Night City. Hey, so here's the thing. A couple fellas from the 5th Precinct busted a shop selling illegal iron. Sawed offs, stun guns, mustard gas canisters. Orders from on up were to blow it all to the ground. But then I thought, maybe there's a better way to use all this stuff for a good cause. I still remember what you did for us, for me and Randy. This city needs more people like you. But I'm gonna make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. See you around. Hey, it's Perales. V, you're gonna wanna hear this. First, we need to go somewhere no one's listening. Okay, so my wife, Elizabeth. She's in on the whole thing. She... she keeps saying I should look after myself. Tells me to take these... pills. Says they're vitamins. Got them analyzed at a lab. And they look okay. But, but how am I supposed to know if somebody didn't falsify the results? Well, 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 when you got a sec, call me, okay? Oh, oh yeah, and don't forget to delete this message. bother you. I know you're a busy man and everything. But, well, I was wondering how you were doing, so I laid out a quick tarot and... Oh, dear. The hanged man. The magician. The star. Those... Those are not good cards, V. They're really bad. They're something like death, but... Not quite. Take care of yourself, okay? I'll... Hope to hear from you soon. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes this episode of Cyberpunk 2077. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, do not forget to Hulk smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, share this with your boys, recommend my channel to everybody that you know, follow me on Instagram, smash that bell notification button, and of course, as always, please have a wonderful and blessed day. Peace out.